From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. When Noli Ajere, a farmer in northern Malawi, lost everything she had, it wasn't war, disease, or natural disaster that took it away. It was tribal laws. After her husband died, Nolia's brother-in-law demanded that she marry him. When Nolia refused, she was forced to leave her home, losing her land and even her children to the in-laws. He was mistreating me. He snatched away my clothes and traded them for beer. He made life very difficult for me. Malawi, in southern Africa, is largely an agricultural society. Nearly two-thirds of its 13 million people live in rural areas. They live on land held by villages and administered by tribal chiefs, all men. By tradition, the man owns everything, even his wives and children. When he dies, his property belongs to the next man in the family. Short and Kochi is one of the elders from Nolia's ancestral village. For instance, if the brother dies, can the woman be inherited? Whether she likes it or not, people will inherit her. After refusing to marry her brother-in-law, Nolia returned to her parents' village only to discover she had no status in her village, nowhere to build a home or cultivate crops. Nolia's younger brother allowed her to stay with him, but she soon became a servant to his family, carrying out domestic chores and working his fields from morning to night. She lived in poverty. Imagine that sometimes I had to steal the maize behind his back so that I could get the money to buy the things I needed. The traditions that trap Nolia are at odds with Malawi's legal code and international human rights standards. In 1979, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Convention on Elimination of Discrimination Against Women. Those that are of that opinion say aye. Malawi ratified the treaty in 1987, committing itself to undertake measures to end discrimination in all forms. Eight years later, the country adopted a constitution guaranteeing women equal rights with men. But many women, poor and illiterate, are unaware of their constitutional rights. In 2009, a local nonprofit group, Action Aid International Malawi, began a campaign to raise awareness of women's land rights. The workshops, funded partly by the Dutch government, help women farmers gain literacy skills and knowledge of their property rights. The project also reaches out to men to educate them about fundamental women's rights. And attitudes seem to be changing, even among influential tribal leaders like in Koshe and Zukuzuku. A woman is also a person like a man. If I die, my wife should have power on that land. My brother cannot disturb her on that land. That is her own land with my children. And Nolia found the courage to demand her brother, the village chief, give her a piece of land. And he did, four acres, making her the first woman in her village to own her plot. Nolia now earns a living selling her crops. Once felt powerless in a male-dominated society, Nolia is now at the forefront of a grassroots movement, speaking out for women's right to own land. Now I'm very happy. I'm able to smile. My life has changed. I'd like to see what has happened to me, happened to other women as well. This report was produced by Patricia Chan for the United Nations.